one of the newer features that is coming this year for the Microsoft Dynamics Marketing app is an improvement in the segment builders. Microsoft continues to invest heavily in this area, and they are starting to get more and more powerful and easier to use. One of my favorite new features uh, is the ability to uh, change the way you use dates in defining your segments. So we'll take a look at this. Um, so we've added a custom field to the account entity for subscription expiration date. And let's look at some scenarios if we wanted to send out emails to individuals whose subscription was going to expire. In this case, looking at this account, their uh, subscription is going to expire on March 31st. So we could address that in a few ways. First, let's add a related entity. We're gonna we want to send an email to all the contacts uh, whose subscription is expiring, and we're gonna just choose contacts by the account that they're related to, and add a condition. If we scroll down, we'll find that subscription expiration date field. So I have a few options now on how I can do this. I can choose that date specifically. I know that it's expiring on the 31st. This is what's known as an absolute date. It's the month, the day, and the year. But I have a new option. I can also choose a relative date. So let's say I wanted to send out a notice to everybody who's going to be expiring, uh, their subscription's going to be expiring uh, between now and uh, a month from now. So I could say it's within the next 30 days. And I'll get a little preview when I do that. So now you can see between today and April 9th. And I have another option in doing this as well, where I can say this is an anniversary. So if I wanted to reuse this same segment every year, this means between today, which is March 10th, and April 9th, regardless of the year, I can reuse this segment every year. And then the last option I have is what's called a partial date. So it's similar, I can say equals any day. Let's say it's the 31st of March, any year. So again, if I wanna reuse this same segment builder uh, for subscriptions that are expiring on the 31st of March, regardless of the year, I can reuse this segment every year. It's one of the nicer new features in the segment builder. Another interesting one is that you can also add behavior blocks. So now without having to build two segments and create the intersection of them, I can add a block to track behavior. So for example, the interactions like clicking emails, forwarding emails, the email is delivered, they registered for an event, they submitted a Forms Pro survey, Uh, I've run out of email credits, the recipient address isn't valid, all these different things. I could say if they visited our website and the timestamp is, let's say it's within the last month, and I again use those uh, new date features in building that. So Microsoft, thank you for continuing to invest in this. This opens up a lot of scenarios that marketers are constantly asking for in building their segments.